grace this is the first of a series of hope in god videos we're going to be running over the course of however long this time lasts um they're going to be just two or three minute clips to encourage you and to keep your eyes on god and to ensure that you're full of faith and hope not fear and anxiety and to build your confidence in jesus christ and to know that he is your joy and he is your hope and I want to start. Um, I want to start today, just by talking a little bit about how you survive when you can't be together. Because in Grace, we talk an awful lot about the need for one another. That we can't go it alone. We're, we're not built to be lone wolves. We're, we're built to be a pack together. And and that's absolutely true. So what do you do when you can't be face to face? What do you do when you can't meet to pray? When you can't strengthen one another? face to face and we've obviously got a load of ways that we're trying to do that digitally and to encourage one another and, and meet together over the internet but with the best will in the world it's not the same it's it's not the same when you can't shake someone's hand and you you can't put an arm on someone's shoulder and you can't um hug and weep with the weeping it's not the same you can't laugh with, with those who are rejoicing and joyful what do you do how do you keep going how do you stay burning hot when you can't be together because here's the real danger without one another the danger is that we drift christ ceases to be our focus because so many other things are pulling our gaze and so many other things offer to us some kind of joy which we just get sold by and bought and we buy into when jesus is the only joy that lasts what do you do there's hope and here's what it is and just for a few moments this morning, I want to encourage you to push into God all the more in this season, because the Bible is not silent on this. All right. It's quiet on a coronavirus, but it's not quiet on what do you do when you're away from God's people? In fact, if you read through the Psalms, you're going to find tons of Psalms that are all written in distant places. Psalms written in deserts. Psalms in a place where the writer's just in a pit. Psalms written in caves. You're going to find Psalms written far from Jerusalem. So you read Psalm 42, famous, as the deer pants for the streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. And it's kind of this ironic psalm where the psalmist is yearning to be in the place where God is in Jerusalem, in the temple, but he's also speaking to him where he is. And he kind of uses all these analogies of being in the desert, of being on the mountain, that's kind of north and south, far from Jerusalem. The analogy of being in a foreign land, just feeling like he's far away from God. And his answer, his response, what do I do? I hope. I hope in him with all that I am. I cry out to him. This time might seem a little bit like a wilderness to you. It might seem this is hard and I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to carry on with that encouragement. Just in myself, I feel despair. Or maybe you feel kind of, hey, this is fine. I'm just going to do my own thing and forget about God. The psalm says, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. It doesn't matter how far away you are, hope in him. He's right where you are. Don't despair. Don't be full of fear. Instead, put all that you are into his hands. Chances are, in the course of the next few months, some of you are going to have a little bit more time than you've had previously. Some of you may be a you, you can't get into work, you're working from home and you've just got a bit more flexibility. Some of you maybe you, you, you just can't get to wherever you're supposed to be and so you're stuck at home. I want to encourage you, use this time to push into God. Use this time to use the Psalms to hope in God. And through this wilderness experience, like an exile far from God's people, far from where he's put you, it may just be that he does some significant lasting work in you in this time and makes you more hopeful and more faithful and more joyful in him than you've ever been before. So thirst for God, pant for him like a deer in the wilderness and find your hope in him. God bless you. And uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing for the, the second of these videos, but uh, wait and see. Should be coming tomorrow.